Rescue operations were temporarily halted at the tunnel in Tapawan after the water level in the Dholi Ganga River surged on Thursday. They have now been resumed. 25 to 35 people are still trapped in the tunnel for over four days since the glacier disaster. Security personnel at work inside the tunnel rushed out and heavy machines engaged in drilling through the debris and sludge were withdrawn. Hours before the sudden rise in the water, rescuers had begun an operation to drill through the debris from the mouth of the river to reach life-saving devices to the trapped workers. The ITBP and the Garhwal Commissioner, who are spearheading the massive operation, said the focus at the moment is to take life-saving devices such as oxygen cylinders to those trapped. The drilling has to be done for 12 meters to access the probable location to reach those trapped. News agency ANI has released a video purported to be of the disengagement process by PLA troops currently underway in Pangong, so in Ladakh, citing defence sources. The video shows Indian and Chinese military tanks moving back. Reports quoting government sources also say that the disengagement will be complete in 15 to 20 days and the strategic heights India has occupied in the South Bank will be the last to be vacated in this phase. India and China have agreed to pull back troops from a bitterly contested lake area high in the western Himalayas, Defence Minister Rajnath Singh said on Thursday. China's Defence Ministry said frontline troops from the two countries had begun to pull back from the shores of the lake on Wednesday. Indian Army Chief General Manoj Mukund Naravne said on Thursday that the current weapons of war are fast losing their importance and are being overtaken by disruptive technologies that operate in the cyber and space domain. Speaking during a webinar, Naravne said that everyone has seen how the very imaginative and offensive use of drones in Idlib and then in Armenia, Azerbaijan challenged the traditional prima donnas, the tank, the artillery and the dug-in infantry. Union Home Minister Amit Shah on Thursday said the centre would start granting citizenship to refugees under the Citizenship Amendment Act after the COVID-19 vaccination drive ends. At a rally in Matwa in Pold Bound, West Bengal, Shah said the opposition is misleading the minorities on CAA and assured that the law would not impact the citizenship status of Indian minorities. Union Home Minister Amit Shah on Thursday took a dig at West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee, saying that she too will chant Jai Shri Ram before assembly elections are over in the state. The slogan gained significance as Didi last month declined to speak at an event to celebrate Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose's birth anniversary after people chanted the slogan. <laughs> अरे बनता दीदी बंगाल में जय श्री राम नहीं बोला जाएगा तो कहां पाकिस्तान में बोला जाएगा क्या मैं आपको वादा कराता हूं चुनाव समाप्त होते हुए तो ममता दीदी भी जय श्री राम बोलती हो जाएगी आप चिंता मत करिए the tussle between Maharashtra governor and the Uddhav Thakre government was again out on display on Thursday when Bhagat Singh Koshiari was denied permission to use the state government aircraft to fly to Dehradun. Reports say the governor waited for two hours at the Mumbai airport lounge, then 15 minutes in the aircraft before the captain informed him that the permission to fly had not been received yet, following which Koshiari booked a commercial flight to Uttarakhand. This controversy is the latest between the two after a major war of Words broke out between the Maharashtra Governor and Chief Minister Thakre last year in October over the reopening of places of worship in the state, which had been shut since March in the wake of coronavirus lockdown. While addressing the public of the Nalgora district, Telangana Chief Minister K. Chandrasekhar Rao lost his school and compared a group of protesters to dogs. The Chief Minister was interrupted by a group of protesters while giving his speech. He asked the police to take them away as he had seen several dogs like them who would be turned to dust if needed. The comment caused an uproar and the opposition parties demanded an apology from the TRS leader for this unwarranted insult, reminding him that this is a democracy and it is because of the public that he sits in that chair. 
Congress General Secretary Priyanka Gandhi Vadra on Thursday took a holy dip at the Sangam in Allahabad on Moni Amavasya and performed a puja. The Congress leader who arrived in the morning reached the Sangam, which is a confluence of the Ganga Yamuna and mythical Saraswati River, for taking the holy dip and participation in the puja. Priyanka was accompanied by her daughter and Congress MLA Aradna Mishra.